Ladies and gentlemen, Carter Woods has signed up to be the guest on episode 21. Alright, so, he didn't sign up for this, JK. He actually did sign up for this. Carter Woods. What's going on? Uh, not much. Not too bad. Yourself? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, so, I understand right now that you're in a hotel room. Yeah, that is correct. Why is that? Um, I'm currently doing a, working on painting 52 rooms, my uncle, my father, um, we took today off, and we're not gonna have anything to do uh, tomorrow. Um, basically, we're just like painting 52 rooms for uh, this Best Western down in Bentleyville. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I, I get paid 300 bucks uh, a week to do it. So. 300 bucks a week? Oh my god. Yeah, he's pretty good. But um, is this like is this like a family-owned business of some sort? No, it's, it's my boss. It, my uncle's boss owns the place, so. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Now, um, in the last story time you've been in, I can't remember which episode it was, you said you moved to Alderdice. Taylor Alderdice, whatever it's called, the school district. Um, how's it been down there so far from the last episode? Uh, don't you mean nigger? Um, it's been pretty good. Um, hey, what was the question again? I'm retarded. <laughs> You're just like me. But, um, so I basically just asked, um, compare, um, where you're at now t previously from the last episode. So, like, is there any difference from now since the last episode that you were a part of? Um, not much has changed. I'm still in Pitts Pittsburgh. Or... Are you serious? <clears throat> Are you fucking serious? I got spawned to kill me! <laughs> Wait, what are you doing right now? Playing Halo 5. I hate this game. Oh, okay. Tia, yeah, why is your gamer tag Sack Lives Matter? Um, it goes back to my freshman year, uh, Canamac. Not uh, your bill, but, um. Yeah, that'll start like Dan would like go around like growing our sacks, like a yeah, nice sack, big man. I'm like, alright, this is pretty cool, I'm gonna let this go. And um I'm not sure if it's still relevant at uh Canamac, but um yeah, we used to grow people's backpacks and call them sacks. Yeah, I haven't heard anything much about that type of stuff. Um I hardly hear anyone talk about that. Um the only people who I think would talk about that is people within the Kansas borough. Otherwise, I don't think I would expect anyone else to talk about that. No. Because they're like basically like popular people and stuff, and I know they probably just like talking about stupid stuff. <laughs> um. So, well, let's go over to PGW and CWA for a while. Um. So, how in the hell were you able to make it for Missionary Forty? I. Uh and, um, I kind of had a lie to my mom and my dad at the same time. Um, I basically said, um, I'm going to go over dance for the weekend. But my, parents, my, my mom was like, you're not going over dance because I know you're going to wrestle. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm <laughs> nervous, hanging out and stuff. And then I asked my uncle, hey, you're going to be working down there uh, Saturday. How about you drive me down? He's like, sure. You can spend a night at my place. Right? I'm like, okay. So I went that. So I actually got, was able to do it down there. Due to me lying to both my parents, so yeah. Yeah. Now, how did Austin come into play as well? Because I know he came as well. How did that happen? Same situation. Yeah, this is the same situation. He just went along with it. Um, didn't he go over? Didn't he leave the state for like a couple, a few months or something like that? Um, no, 
Um, he actually got uh, kicked out of uh, the job corps that he was in. I don't know if you heard about it. He actually got kicked out. No, I never heard about that. Uh, he actually got terminated. Um, he did a prank where he locked someone, something like this little... Apparently this kid was diagnosed with like, autism or whatever. He didn't know that. He locked him in a bath prank. And apparently like they recorded it. Just to be funny reasoning. <laughs> reasoning is but, um, someone reported it. And basically um, he and his friend got uh, terminated from uh, the program. Um, what was the program about? Uh, security. Just basic security. Um, he was supposed to go, was good, uh, for Homeland. But um, he got terminated. Okay, so he was working for all those, you know... Yeah. Uh, now, what is he doing now? Is he um, is he now living with you and stuff? No, he is not. Um, he's going. He went to my uh, sister's place because uh, she's taking classes for her GED, and uh, she figured that uh, maybe uh, he should go with her. And uh, that's where he is right now. He's going to take his GED and graduate and go into the military. Oh, so okay. Why well, wish him luck, Dan? Cause I I like to actually get him on. The story time of the future. Rangers, same as I am. He's smart enough to take score. Yeah, I'd like to get him on story time in the near future. But um, how were you inserted into the match with um Daniel and Chris? <laughs> how did that happen? The, the the what? Can you repeat that again? The connection. Um, how did like how did you get involved in the um hardcore title match at forty? Because it turned into a fatal five way. Hello? Uh, oh, okay, the connection dropped off. Uh, um, me and Daniel basically talked it over the phone maybe like two or three weeks prior to Missionary 40 because me and him were both pretty excited about it. Um, we're, we're talking about it like, hey, we're going to do this fatal four way. And then, and then uh, we talked about it even more and we were like, hey, we want to make this a fatal five way. But originally, it was supposed to be um, an elimination tag team match. Which, oh, oh, this elimination match. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> you guys were supposed to be involved in that match. Yeah. But they were... Yeah, playing. we basically just talked about it like three weeks prior, and I guess, it, I guess Steven approved it, and uh, we made it happen. Yeah, because I, I, thought, I thought the match was good. Uh, personally, I thought it was the... I think it was the best match on the card. Personally, I think it was the best match on the card. Now, if I did, if I did do like a top three ranking, I think the th- my third favorite match was probably um, Beerus and Raven. My second favorite was probably Cryptic and Maniac, and then number one, I would say your match. So that's something. Because a lot of people have said that your match at forty was the best on the show, best on the card. Yeah. Like, um, like, did you enjoy the match? Oh yeah, I enjoyed the match, but except for the fact that I was being ragged all the whole freaking time. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, sorry. We'll get to it in a second. I, I want to apologize to you about the whole rumble incident. Um, we, we'll talk about that as soon as we get there. So, um, so um, let's kind of review forty really quick. From I want to see your point of view on this. Um, what do you think of some of these matches? So let's start with Cryptic versus Maniac. Um, I just came there, saw bits and pieces. Uh, all, I saw the part where you got flipped into the barbed wire table. Um, the, the parts I seen uh it looked like a pretty good match. I haven't seen the whole thing. Yeah. And then we got to the hardcore title match, which honestly I think that match should have been higher up on the card. That's something I didn't even say on the um, missionary my re- missionary review video. I think it could have been higher up on the card, but it wasn't. But then after that match, I don't remember the right. I think it was the tag team match. I think the tag title match. Oh yeah. I said it was long and dragged. What did you think? Yeah, yeah. No, no one wanted to get out. Or be yeah, eliminated. yeah. I remember someone told me in that match. Steven told me he said to eliminate someone, and Chris was in the rain. And the, I was like, I'm, I'll, I'll eliminate someone, but the only person that I will not eliminate is Chris. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I thought it was long and dry. Is there anything else you want to talk about the, in that match? Um, no, no. All right. I'm, ju- I'm just pulling up things that are t- on top of my head because I can't remember the match order. Um, Cryptic versus Genesis. Personally, I thought it had a unique ending with like the Barbara School, like in like submission hold. Um, basically, like um, N- uh, Nick or Cryptic carried on the whole match. He carried on the whole yeah. match. Yeah. Um, like, mm-hmm. 
Now, the one thing that I heard, I believe Steven mentioned this in his story time, which it'll be up in the future. Oops, I just spoiled it. Well, it might be up before this or after it, but we'll see. But um, anyway, he basically told, said in the story time that Bailey was originally supposed to win that match, but he didn't really have any commitment or passion to do it, I believe. But then him and Cryptic talked about it before 40, and they said if Bailey wants to win that match and be the final U.S. champion, he has to earn it. And he pretty much got dominating the entire match. Like, I thought the match was good. Not their best status match, but the one thing I didn't like about the match was it was one-sided. Yeah, definitely one-sided. Yeah. Now, that's I think that's why Cryptic passed out instead of tapped out, because he wasn't going to tap out to Bailey. But I have to give Bailey credit, though. I'm taking a submission hole in Bar Bar. I have to say that much. Um, what about Leatherface versus Ryuk? Um, I, <laughs> I actually didn't. Know, I actually didn't know the name Ryuk until I came to forty. I have no idea who it Ryuk. Oh, that's I, I knew he was. He was on the mask, obviously. But um, I don't think I actually saw the match. But, uh, I, I had no idea what to say. Um, I, I haven't seen the match. Um, what about the um, young young star? Uh, wasn't there for that either. Didn't watch it either. What about me versus George? Oh yeah, I counted eight spears. I, we tried to go for ten, and we mi- we forgot. Um, we were supposed to do ten spears, but now we miscounted. <laughs> <laughs> I was counting them too. I was like, like five. That was our fault. We tried to go for ten. I thought I thought that I thought it was an okay match for the only like big singles match. But, um, yeah, yes. I thought it was okay for it being the only big singles match, but, um, I thought it was one of the best story told matches on the card. I think George and I could have hit, could have hit each other harder, though. That's one of my only critiques about that match. Yeah. Um, what was that? Oh, yeah, um, the Warriors title match, um, Diablo and Akumu. Oh, that match was brutal as fuck. Uh, I, I've never seen, like, um, Austin E, like, slid off the table or whatever and like hit his head well, he hit his head off like the corner of the table it was, it was yeah funny. I th- honestly I thought this was the most disappointing match on the card until the final 10 minutes we've seen it a million times yeah like they didn't really do much in the match until um excuse me um the final 10 minutes and that's where I really got picked up like the yeah. um, the post incident the um he- his head hitting the w- piece of wood that's when it got intense but then, what about Beers versus Raven? Um, I, th- I think it's one of those, uh, it's, it's I, I hate saying this word, um, overheights, I hate that fucking word. Well, I, I, well, um, I, th- I think Raven could have done a little bit more to build up the match, but I thought the match was okay. I thought the match was good. It, I feel like the pace could have been faster. Yeah, like this was my third favorite match on the card. But it could have been. I thought they. I think Brandon. I think he surprised everyone for what he was able to do. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna take last though. That's the one thing I didn't think it was gonna do. I was shocked. Or barbed wire for that matter. It took him right to the skull. I forgot about that. <laughs> um. Yeah. The, uh, the other thing about that match was I. I was a little bit disappointed that Raven brought down the Royal Championship for his entrance because I kind of personally, in my opinion, felt like that hurt his title moment, his title win. Cause it's like, uh, yeah. Cause it, cause it's like you're, you. He brought down a title just to hold on to it at the end, pretty much like hurting the moment to a point. Like I thought it could have been a better. I could have been. I think it could have been a bigger moment if he didn't walk out with the title. I mean, that's just one of my opinions on that. But overall, I thought it was a great match. And now, yeah. yeah and now we could talk about the Royal Rumble. Um, clusterfuck. Yeah, who messed up the order like a pants? Holy yeah. shit. That's what I meant to say. Like, I wanted to apologize to you about that Rumble match, dude. Because we... Did, uh, we, we had a list! I know. Everything kind of, everything got screwed up because someone messed up with Daniel's order with mine. Because it was supposed to go Daniel, me, and George. But somehow, I ended up being number four. George ended up being number five. And he became number six. Yeah. Like, I thought the beginning of the Royal Rumble was way much better than the ending portion of it. Because that's where, that's when nobody wanted to be eliminated. 
nobody want to get eliminated. Like, just jump out of rainy pants. Like, a lot of stuff in the beginning was scripted. Like, I was supposed to eliminate George, and then Steven was supposed to eliminate me from behind. But because Ed eliminated George, I had to eliminate Anubis with Steven so Steven could throw me out. So we had to, like, improvise that part. So it's like, there was, like, a lot of stuff that, like, didn't go as planned during the match. Yeah. But it was definitely disappointing. Yeah. Like, I think... I don't know, but I still think this was the best Rumble match. Um, it's just that no one really wanted to be eliminated. Like I thought, Austin Woods, your brother, he should have been yeah. in way. He should have been in way much longer. Yeah, and they make him look like shit. Man, what the fuck? Guys but that was because I think it was because of the egos in the rain stuff. Like I know I had to. I know George and I. I'll admit we had a big ego going into the match. But I mean, that's. But I thought the ego was way much worse in, in, later on in the match because that's when it got like ten people in the rain at once. I thought that ring was collapsed from all that weight. Uh, we it almost collapsed it. We almost collapsed it when you threw um when we threw you out. Did you see the whole tire like leg like completely like fall a little bit? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, but what do you think? Do you think the decision of Akumu winning the world title was the right call? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was all deserved. In my opinion. Because I think it should have went to the only two people who. I think it, the only two people that I thought it made sense to win the match was either Akumu or Assault. The other, anyone else, I would say no. Yeah. Because it would not have made sense if Beers won. Yeah, he... he uh, Zero Assault wasn't in there very long either. Yeah, I know. But he was. that was near the end, though. I th- yeah, it should have been... Yeah. They just, they just don't give enough star time. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of young cards, they don't like um. I forgot. I forget that one guy's name. Uh, George. Uh, I can't. Think of one of the new guys. I the guy that wrestles shirt, shirtless. Like oh, T J Storm. Yeah, t- yeah, he wasn't in there long either. Like they threw him out immediately. What the fuck? Greg botched his elimination as maniac. Like he ran and threw himself out. <laughs> like there was just a lot of like. Like, um, I know Steven got pissed at me about the whole enlightenment thing, but I still thought it was a pretty cool moment to see, but, like, I know Steven didn't like how George eliminated Daniel, um, but that, Steven says that George doesn't like, like, putting over, like, younger talent, but I don't know. I might ask him that in the future about that. Yeah. Um. He brothered himself out. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why we did the Enlightenment thing, too, because I wasn't a huge fan of that. Cause it, because if you guys did the brother thing, thing that, there would have been, I believe, like seven eliminate se- seven um, self-eliminations. And I know Steven would have been so ticked off about that. Yeah. Um, oh. But overall, what do you think of Missionary 40? Um, I think it was one of the better missionaries. In my Well, the, the max cards were... I, I wasn't a big fan like the Royal Rumble was a main a main event. I don't think that made sense to me. It was just it was just my personal preference. Yeah, that was my idea because it gave uh, everyone the chance to main event the last match. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. For their hard work and stuff. Yeah, I got my Mister Clean uh, jingle theme song, which I was pretty excited about. Yeah, they got me confused on the entrance portion stuff, so we kind of messed it up, and that's why Stephen played Seth Rollins theme during that. Yeah. Um, cause I didn't even know you were supposed to come out with that. I'm like, Steven, I think this is an ad. And you hear him saying, this is, a, he was like, this is a fucking ad. <laughs> and then he just switches the song over to Seth Rollins. Cause he didn't even know that was supposed to be your song. And I, I actually didn't even know about it either. And I'm, and I'm like, really? I posted, posted the link to the Mr. Clean Gene. I know. And then Nathan came out with you know, Kai, which was the funniest the thing. Chat. Said, oh, that, that's my like, Nathan came out with Caillou, and that was freaking funny. <laughs> well, one of my favorite parts was that Fatal 4 where um, where, um, uh, you guys come out, and then Daniel, and then Nathan, like, spanks you, and you kick the sign, and they get really mad, like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I know Nathan didn't move the bat earlier on in the match, but I don't think it got caught on camera. Like, he just came over and randomly hit me in the shoulder, or in the arm. Yeah, yeah, it got, it got caught on camera. That part did. Ah, uh, I don't remember. Um... I was fine with it, but, um, 
um, Walls like Oh yeah, why didn't this was this was planned to happen? But how come you didn't face? How come you didn't face Austin Woods at um, forty? Um. Uh, it's, it's one of two things. Um, I don't know. Um, I talked to Steven like, like maybe like. He's like, I'm like, there's no way, there's no way. Like, um, Austin just wasn't in the mood set to actually try. I honestly didn't see it. I was actually questioning, like, questioning the match, uh, maybe a week prior. I'm like, Steve, I'm really, really unsure about this. I don't think Austin's Austin's ready about having a single match with me. I honestly, I didn't think I was ready for it because Austin, he's a, he's a good. Uh, he's not he's not like lunatic where he can't. It's almost impossible to wrestle. Him, but um, him selling moves, oh my god, it's horrendous. Hi Sam, what do you want, Sam? Are recording a YouTube video? We are recording on YouTube. Hey Josh, Mike, this is my cousin Samuel. I'm yeah. gonna grow the hell out of you! I swear to God. <laughs> he just walked out of the room. Oh, you better come in here. I'm gonna see that bomb. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what were you talking about? Oh yeah, that match of Austin. So you said he didn't think he was really ready to do a match with you? No, partially we didn't have time. We had to leave around like. Ish, and I was like at the end of uh, Austin and Ed's match in the beginning of the Young Star. We didn't, partly what, partly because it didn't happen because uh, we didn't have time. Oh, uh, like were you guys like, was that your um, was that one of your parents on the driveway the entire time? No, that was Daniel. His dad was like there the whole time. Oh, did did um did he bring you guys or no? No, my my uncle did. He just drove down and then picked us up. Oh, okay. Now I'm I'm gonna go back a little bit here. Um, now there was a rumor I think it was planned you were supposed to face Chris at um, 36 for the U.S. title. Um, was that is that true? Alright, can you repeat that again? The connection dropped. Oh. Um. So I heard this back then. This was I heard planned. You were supposed to face Chris at Missionary 36 for the United States title. Is that true? Um. I I'm just now hearing this. Um. I've never heard this plan. Uh, I may have, but I have like a memory of a second grader, so I have uh, no idea. And I don't remember if I asked you about um, Missionary 30 or not in the last one, but I'll ask you again in case. Um, how come you were in a Missionary 30 to face Leatherface? Um, uh, how long ago was Missionary 30? I it was last sorry. October. Um... No, I was in Pittsburgh. I didn't. I, oh yeah, no. that's right. Wait, was was that before Halloween? It was like days before Halloween. Oh, oh. Um, I think I asked my mom, and she said no. I just took no for an answer. I think that's, I think that's what happened. Yeah. But um, we I did come down for uh, come down uh for uh, Halloween though. Uh -huh. I don't know why the match didn't happen. I my mom. I asked my mom. She I guess she said no. Yeah. Um, did did you like did you miss PGW while you were away for that long period of time? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I would. I'd be like, I could be wrestling because me. Um, going over to Steven's house is like so much fun to me. Um, his I house is hot though. They don't even have air conditioning. Yeah. Really? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I did. Miss, I did miss seeing you guys and stop wrestling. Uh, doing pre matches with Akumu. It was a lot of fun to me. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I did miss. I did miss it at the time. Yeah. Um, trying to think here. Um, now um, the Hall of Fame is closed. You know the Hall of Fame, right? The final ten. It, it's um me. Yeah, I George, the last one. Raven. Yeah. Um, do you think you deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, even though it's closed? Uh, mm, uh no. You don't think so? I don't see. It. I don't see me uh, being an old man now. I didn't really do anything in my career, per se, until the end of my career when I got the push for the like the, the gauntlet memorial. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, now do you think the ten Hall of Famers? Do you think those were the right choices, or do you think you could have like adjusted like a few people around? Um. Do you need do you need um a reference again? Yeah. Um, I went in first, which I to this day I think I said this is my experience video. I think Ed should have went in first before me. Um, so it was me, then George, then Brandon, 
then Daniel, Ed, Austin, Steven, and then it went, I believe it went Greg, Nick, and then Chris. Yeah, I, I can see it. Uh, those are pretty good picks. I couldn't argue with them. I couldn't argue for e- either or anyone on the list not to be on the list. So uh, I think the list is pretty solid. Yeah. Like, there's some big names that, that didn't make it, but they still had a huge contribution. Like, Imperius had a good, like, a huge contribution back in the day. Jackson Brooks, you could also argue, could have been in the Hall of Fame. Like, there's, like, there's like a lot of people that deserve that privilege, but only 10 was going to be going in. Yeah. Now, actually, I want to talk to you about this, too, because not a lot of people express their opinions on this. Um, I don't care if they yell at me about this, but what were your thoughts, though, on Billy Delane, the channel videos? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I hope that piece of shit dies in a hole somewhere. Like, but I, I think it's stupid. Uh, like, um, I don't understand. Apparently, he has like 400 subscribers and like posts like two videos because he just yeah. sees the channel over. But um, well, that was from I, yeah. I, Good. Yeah, I never, I never liked Billy to begin with, so I don't see why I would like him now. I would say put him in the Hall of Fame, but after what he did to everyone else. You could say that. You could kiss that goodbye like what Chris Benoit did. Oh, speaking of what you said. I was the one who yeah. put, put him in the Hall of Fame despite him stealing the channel. He, he, was, he wasn't that good. You don't think? Plus, he yeah. quit like 17 times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, try to think here. Um, luckily, I have some of the stuff saved to my channel, which I'll be uploading those pretty soon. Um, now, um... Who would who would you like throw into the Hall of Fame if it like who do you think could have been in the Hall of Fame? Um, one one of the guys I could argue maybe Nick. I think Nick could have made it. He's already in it. Really? Are you fucking serious? You didn't list them. I told you. I said Scorpion, Raven, no, Scorpion, Butcher, Raven, Daniel, Diablo, Akumu, Beers, Cryptic, Maniac, Chris Reckless. You didn't say Nick. You just repeated the list again. You did not say Nick. I said cryptic. That's Nick. Oh my. <laughs> uh, well, my friend retarded or something. Um. Well, going on, besides that, um. If I had to argue who had to be on the list, ah. Uh, let me think. Uh. I would. Ha- I would have to say Jackson. To me, he's underrated. Yes. Well, the few times he shows up, he puts on pretty, pretty damn good matches. I might say he's a good wrestler too. Yeah. Oh, um, I liked his match with Nathan and HWO. I thought that was yeah, pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Daniel said it itself like it's the best match we ever had, which I, I agree. Yeah, I can agree with. Now, um, what were your thoughts on HWO? Um, did you enjoy HWO, even though it's still around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy it. Like, are you going to be going back to the wrestle or nah? Uh, I, I have no idea. Um, pro- probably not anytime soon because I'm going to be working the whole summer, saving up money. That's my main objective for the summer. Uh, no. Do you do you miss anything in HWO? Uh. Um, I, I just miss being there. I miss, like, fooling around. I miss living, like, a walk away from Daniel. So, if we want to screw around for a bit and, like, wrestle, I just have to walk, like, a street over. Now, if I have to go wrestle, I have to, walk, I have to drive for 40 minutes. Yeah. Do you have your license? Or are you uh, I, uh, no, I, no, I don't. Okay. Now, um, you've been doing anything different lately that's not, like, wrestling related? Um, Besides me working, I have been studying. Well, for well, yeah, I've been studying for my ASVAB for a military test for next year. You heading to the military? Yeah, I'm going to the military. All right, I wish yeah. you wish, wish you luck, then. Yeah. Um, do you like? Do you know what branch of the military you're going to try to get into? Our army, army, and I try to go for the Green Berets. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of people, like, enlisted themselves into the military. 
And that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. I, I would say pretty good. To yeah, like support, it is pretty good. To protect and serve your country, I, I believe that's like the most important thing to, um, to even do. Yeah, especially since Trump is in office. If Hillary was in office, I probably wouldn't be joining the army. Yeah, but um, because there's just it's just like there's a lot of people going in now where it's like. Like, there's a selective service thing. I recently had to do things for the selective service, but it's not going to be like, if there's ever going to be another draft, I'm not saying if there will or not, they probably, there probably won't be as many names because there's so many people, like, enlisting in the military. Like, they just want to serve the country. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to serve my country as best as I can. Yeah. Now, do you have any, like, secondary options afterwards? Or is it, like, too early to tell? Uh, I had to have secondary options after getting out of the military. Um, I'm thinking about going to a, a college, college, not a community college, like um, like a state college. I don't know what college I'm going to go to yet, but I either want to be a, uh, believe it or not, I actually want to be, like, a history teacher. That'd be nice. Um, what? I said that'd be nice. Or, or marine biologists, like study sharks, they would be pretty cool. Yeah. I do like science and history. Like, is there any, like, what kind of science do you enjoy the most? Uh, I haven't gotten to, like, higher class, like, chemistry, but, uh, bi- biology so far is pretty fun. Um, I, I'm planning on taking, like, zoology in the future, when, like, like, senior, whatever. Dissecting animals. That smells terrible, if you ask me. I've experienced it. Like, it's just terrible smell. Like, do they do tests on frogs? Have you done before? No, I have not. I don't I don't think I've taken a test on any of those. I don't think, because I took environmental science, and really, we didn't really talk about that stuff. Like, we only did... We only did one dissection, it was on an L pellet. Like, that's a kindergartner couldn't even could do that for crying out loud. Like, why couldn't it be something yeah. in advance? <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah, burning and cheese. Okay. Now, um, I'm trying to think here, um, you've been watching a little bit of WWE lately? Uh, no. No, I've been watching bits and pieces on YouTube. I probably never, I haven't watched uh, maybe SmackDown or Raw maybe like two months. So no. Like, do you know what's going on with the stories from just watching those YouTube videos? Um, that uh, uh, Cass uh, turned on Enzo. I saw that. Love that. that. Was, I was, I was pretty shocked. Yeah, I loved it. Um, they're probably gonna stop him and Enzo in a great balls of fire. But I think oh, it's. Sweet. I think it's only going to be a short-term feud. Like, personally, I think they're going to do Big Cass versus Big Show at SummerSlam. I think they're going to do it. Well, they, like, what, what are your, what are your um, viewpoints on, uh, like, the feud between Samoa Joe and, Bron- and uh, Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar's retaining. I don't see Samoa Joe retain the belt at this time. But The feud I want to see is Brock Lesnar and uh, Braun Strowman. I, like I want to see that match, too. But I think they're going to push it back for Roman Reigns. Are you shitting me? I think it's going to happen because I think WWE, from what I heard, is they can't rely on Brock Lesnar because of the whole entire drop in viewership. Because the champion's never on television as much because he's a part time. Yeah. And that's really hurting the Universal title. That's hurting That's hurting WWE. And they're losing a lot of money because the, the, their best title, the World Championship, is not on Raw. What the hell is he doing? He's sitting back at his house doing nothing. He doesn't do any of that UFC shit anymore? No, I think he got banned from it after that whole thing with Mark Hunt. Well, what happened between that? I wasn't, I didn't see that. He got, he violated one of their drug policies or something. Drug test or something. <laughs> like, after the fight, so they basically removed DW off of Lesnar's side with Mark Hunt from last year. Well, in, in your personal opinion, who's a better, like, UFC fighter? Um, I don't think, I don't think, uh, Batista was ever uh, he, he did he, he did MMA. I watched one yeah. of his matches. He sucks. He's not that good. I never um, I never watched his to be honest. 
Um, he, he fought a fat guy, all right, and he oh, he barely won. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, I didn't watch uh, it. Who's who the best UFC fighter? Well, I mean, I can't really say who was at UFC because I don't remember on the top of my head. Um, one of the guys. Who is- well, Brock Lesnar is like one of the only legitimate ones that I could think of besides Ken Shamrock, but I can't remember if he was in the UFC or not. But I think he was before WWF, I believe, afterwards. Um, but Ken Shamrock didn't have much success at WWE or WWF at that time. But um, but the only one that I could really think is Brock Lesnar because CM Punk, I mean, I got to give props to, props to Punk, but he he's not fit for a fighter. Yeah. Like, he had that one fight with Mickey Rourke or something like that. I can't remember. Mickey something. I don't remember. Actually, that's an actor. What am I thinking? It's something that... I think his name's Mickey. I just can't remember his last name. Um, but, um... Like, I think CM Punk's done with the UFC. I, um, I don't think he's going to f- do another fight for UFC. Brock Lesnar, I know uh. he's done. But Brock Lesnar's, I think, the only legitimate like UFC fighter out of the WWE wrestlers. Besides Ken Shamrock, but I haven't really watched any any of Kenny Shamrock's um, fights. Um, actually, um, do you think CM Punk will ever come back to WWE? Um, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea, but um, if I if I had if I had like vote on it, um, I think he would. It's because a lot of fans actually liked them. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't. But um, a lot, he was just liked by a lot of fans. He's, he's one of the fan guys. But yeah, I definitely see. I don't, I don't know when. I don't think he's going to come out this year. Maybe like sometime next year. Mm-hmm. I'd say maybe in like two to three years. I know he'll come back yeah. to wrestling. Yeah, it won't come this year. I'm yeah, not it's not, it, it won't be I'll this year. Um, now, um... Have you watched any like other wrestling promotion like TNA and what they've been doing, or nah, you just haven't really watched it? No, I haven't. Ah. Now, um, is there any like, um, man, there's not really much I can really talk about at this point, but, um, did you see Jinder Mahal win the WWE title? Yes, I have. And I was very shocked. I don't know how he went from jobber to like three weeks later to champion. That confuses me. I mean, he's I do- don't know, man. He's doing a good job with it, I'll admit that. Like, he made himself one of the top heels of the company because, to me, there's only two legitimate heels in the company at the moment, and that's The Miz and Jinder Mahal. Yeah. And now, I don't know if you knew this or not, but there's rumors that he's going to drop the title to Cena at SummerSlam. <laughs> I can't say I'm. I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, I'd be fine with it, but if they give it to Cena, then it needs to be a long reign with it because it's the seventeenth title, and that's the record that would be shattered if he wins. Yeah, like I can see how I see. I can see how like John Cena is ahead of, ahead of the franchise, but I I, I, just, I hate seeing him win. I hate seeing him win like the world title. I just hate it. Yeah. But then, because I'm hearing rumors that if they do Lesnar versus Reigns at SummerSlam, then they're probably going to do now Reigns versus Cena for the Universal Title at WrestleMania. Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting to see. Um, I'd be fine with the match, uh, except Reigns would win. Yeah, I, yeah, I would be too. Reigns would win though. Yeah, that's that's who I'll be rooting for. Yeah, and to think Reigns is going to get his fourth straight WrestleMania main event. That's like right. more than the Undertaker. Um, I really don't. Yeah. Like the, I really don't like the Undertaker. I just think he's boring. Well, I mean, he could have retired. I think after WrestleMania 28, I think that would have been the best time for him to retire. Yeah, but I still love Undertaker, but I, 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 I think he's done. But there's just so many rumors going around that saying that he's not, and will be facing Reigns at SummerSlam. But I kind of hope that doesn't happen because I think his career, the way it ended against Roman, I think that's a good way to end it, because he got the main event of WrestleMania, and he pretty much. Went up against the right now WWE's face in the company, Roman Reigns. Yeah, he couldn't go and gone off in a better fashion. 
this is gonna make it make him look like garbage. Yeah. I think it's a stop. Now why is ahead? I, I wish you also get Cena, but I'm still fine with Reigns. Match was yeah. match barely exceeded expectations. I thought the match was okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're getting near the end. Is there like anything else you really want to talk about? Um. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, did you hear about the rumor? Um, I think we, me and Steven, talked about forty, but um, we're back to forty. Um, uh, I was supposed to do an underdog match, me versus uh, Zero Salt. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it that. Plan- it was actually planned to happen. Like we we're actually gonna do it, but um, I thought we we're gonna do it before Ed and Austin's match, but um, I guess uh, Steven. I, I don't think it was Steven's fault, but someone, someone like. Say hey, let's do uh, let's get Ed and Austin out of the way. I thought we were gonna do me versus uh, Zero Salt match before that. Ah. Uh, do you wish the match happened? Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool having two underdogs go at it. Of course, I don't. I haven't really. I don't think we ever decided who's gonna win, but I would probably let uh, Zero Salt win just because. Yeah. Because so, um, back on the missionary forty subject here, um. A lot of these matches, they weren't scripted. Like, they pretty much decided who the winner was. Like when George and I did, yeah, they weren't. When George and I did our match, we it was unscripted. But then I told George I want him to win because I had no intentions of walking out as the final Intercontinental Champion. And number two, if I won, it would have made one hundred percent no sense from the storyline. <laughs> like, and the one with Brandon, that yeah, one was scripted. This is Rumble is absolutely not scripted with the eliminations and stuff. Well, I mean, it's never really scripted, except the winner. Yeah. I mean, that's something I think I wish could have happened back at PGW. Like, I wish the, the I wish the Rumble could have been scripted, but I think people wouldn't have been able to keep up with the script. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, because there's just, like... I mean, look at the, um, near the end of the 40, for example, where everyone was coming in the rain. Um, actually, I want to ask you this. Did you see Bailey get punted in the head by Akumu? Yeah, I did. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. I didn't see it. But I, I, I remember my review, I said it was rude to a point, but it was also funny. Yeah, yeah, you did say that. I remember you saying that. Yeah. Um, because I heard Chris saying that you could hear him on camera. I don't know. I'll ask you in a second. He said bad short. Did you hear him say that on camera? No, I didn't. I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it go, up on the camera. Go, go back to it. You can hear. You can hear him saying bad shoulder. Yeah. Um. That's why. I, what, that's why you him in the head first. Yeah, that's why it happened, which is understandable. Yeah, bad shoulder and. Um, this is basically our conclusion. We're just raveling off on some PGW stuff because whatever. But um, um, who do you think had the best performance of Missionary Forty? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, I, uh. Elmo. Personally, I'll, um, personally, I think the best performer was Cryptic. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was either going to say uh, Nick or Steven. That's either I was going to say that. My top three would be Steven 3, Ed 2, Nick 1. That would be my top three. Yeah. Would you agree with me? Yeah. Um, who do you think had the most disappointing... Yeah, most disappointing performance? Uh, um, I think... Uh, Person that had the most. Um. People say it's Bailey. I I would say. I, I'm not gonna say Brand. I actually thought Brandon did pretty well, but I think. <clears throat> I think Chris, honestly. Really? I thought he did good. I feel like he didn't. Sh- he didn't show like. I think. I think he didn't do good enough. I'm, I'm not blaming Chris for not. I, I think he didn't get the opportunity to do as well as he should have. 
Well, I mean, he was in that five man thing. I th- honestly, I think if it was, if, I think if it was just Chris and Daniel, I think Chris would have had a better performance. But I think it was just because yeah. it was a multi man match. It kind of, it kind of screwed things up a little bit. Yeah, he could he could have more more time in the fatal four way tag team match. He could have more time in the uh, Royal in the Royal Rumble. I just think he could have did better. Yeah. I'm not. Bl- I'm not playing Chris. It's just descriptive yeah. stuff. Yeah, like because like I said, I said um, everyone at the show. They mostly said Bailey had a, the uh, most disappointing performance. But for me, yeah. um, it was expected me because he's garbage. Honestly, I might have to agree with Genesis because he pretty much got himself beat up most of the entire time. That's why I'm going to have to say D- Genesis. Um, who do you think? How? Um, what do you think was the worst match on the card? And you could uh, you, the- you could say zero self versus Bob Pumper if you want to. Uh, if it comes under that, then I'll say that. But um, <laughs> uh, the rule, I would have to say the rumble. I think I already asked you this. Um, what was the best match on the card? I think I already asked you that. Uh, uh, of course, my match with, uh, Um, who do you think in, um, PGW and CWA, um, we're gonna go in order with all the best titles, um, who do you think was the best PGW, CWA, hardcore champion? I agree. Yeah, I would have, I would have to say it. Because, um, yeah. Um, who is the greatest Divas champion? Uh, that title, uh, that belongs to, uh, Lunatic, I believe. <laughs> greatest tag team champion. Um, Team in general, or just like the just guy, one the one world. person, one person. Um, I would have to say Austin, greatest United States champion. Oh, easy, Nick. Greatest Intercontinental champion. That one's that one's that one's the most that one is the most difficult in my opinion. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I know you, me, Ed, I believe Jackson. Not not too many people actually had. I had um. Hmm. Uh. I I I don't know. I. I, I don't know. I think my my favorite I think has to be Mordecai Greg's um, alter ego. That's probably my favorite one. If I had to pick another two, I would uh, say Jackson Brooks or uh, my title reign. That short one. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, if I had to pick, uh, I had to pick Jackson. Yeah. Um, he, yeah. He didn't hold it very long, did he? Forty-two days. Oh, uh, well, no. Um, greatest Warriors champion. Uh, I around that era, I didn't really watch PGW, but the the things I saw, I'd say Austin. Um, Austin or, or Austin or Maniac? Greatest. Um, wait, did you just say Maniac? Yeah. He was never Warriors champion. Are you serious? I uh, I'm retarded. So um, scratch it out. Di- it's Diablo, Shug Knight, Beers. Chris Reckless, um, but yeah. Really, I, I didn't. I never knew that Chris held. I don't know. I don't know. I really didn't watch PTW at the time. I think Shug Knight held it. I believe Diablo held it. Genesis held it. Beer held and Chris Reckless. Yeah, that's that's five. Yeah, I have to go with Austin, not Diablo. Yeah. Um, I, my favorite is actually Shug Knight for some reason. I don't know. Greatest Royal Champion. Uh, Daniel Brock! 
faggot. Um, greatest rural champion. Uh, I would have to say, uh, uh, Beerus. Yeah. Oh. Be- Beerus or Scorpion, I have to say. And then, what do you think is the, who do you think was the, um, greatest wrestler in PGWCW history? Like, pretty, pretty much your favorite wrestler. Cal- yeah, pretty much your favorite think, wrestler. Technically, wise um, I would either have to say it comes on the three people when I say the best wrestler. It's either Nick, Daniel, or Jackson. And since really you say slash PGW, I can't really scratch Daniel out of the equation. I would definitely say Daniel by far is the best technical wrestler. Not to be kiss ass or anything, but I, I, this is my personal preference. But I would have to say Jackson since he was technically in both PGW. And yeah. than Who do you think was the worst wrestler? Uh, Bailey. Uh, all he does is spine busters and kicks and does gay leg movement with his legs the whole goddamn match. Uh, who do you think... What was your best rivalry Like from your um, career? Like, who was your best rival? Hmm. Um, people would argue Leatherface, but I really enjoyed having a feud uh, with Chris going over the HWL. It didn't really last long, but it was just my personal favorites. Last question before we end the video. What do you want to be remembered for as Carter Woods? Uh, I want to be remembered for, uh, the, uh, I'd be remembered as the uh, as the one and only pedophile that's ever walked in and out of that goddamn ring in PQW. Slash you, anyway. oh, Well, thank you. I'm Carter Woods. Thank you very much for joining me today. I apologize about the entire, like, any part, um where it got cut off afterwards. Um, I had problems trying to fix it, so I'm just going to say thank you guys for watching. Carwood says he quits, just so everyone knows. So, this was a fun episode, and I'll just have to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.